Ellen, as you said, that lion, is, that mountain lion is now roaming far from residential neighborhoods, deep in the Angeles National Forest behind me. And although this was the mountain lion's first televised appearance in an Azusa backyard, he's been seen before. A trail camera catches the Azusa mountain lion back in April of last year. There's also this nighttime video from January. The images shot by wildlife videographer Robert Martinez, who tracks the mountain lion population who live in the hills above Azusa and Glendora. I have probably about 13 to 15 cameras out, spread out over like a 10 square mile area. Uh, most of them are video and I have three that take still photos. They're mm. all motion activated. When Martinez saw this same mountain lion try and enter an Azusa home on Monday, he recognized its cloudy right eye. After checking his footage and talking with California Fish and Wildlife, he was able to make the connection. I was surprised to see him in the backyard and trying to paw to get into the house. I'm still not sure what he was doing. If he was, my guess is he was really scared and desperate to hide. I knew he wasn't there to like hurt people or attack people. This video shot by California Fish and Wildlife shows the 125 pound male waking up after being tranquilized. Fish and Wildlife says his white eye is a sign the lion is blind from old age. The big cat is over 10 years old, according to the department, who says their capture and release went as smooth as it could have. It's hard not to fall in love with these big cats and feel protective over them and want to be an advocate for them and spread awareness to other people. Show them there's nothing to be afraid of and that we coexist every day. I'm out there in their territory right where they sit, where they eat their food, and I feel safe as can be when I'm out there. I never feel threatened, ever. And that mountain lion now has another recognizable feature besides that white eye. He's been tagged by California Fish and Wildlife for the first time.